<laughs> welcome, 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 members of the Wolfpack. It's your boy, Grey Wolf. And we are here with the God of War Ragnarok DLC, the Valhalla DLC, which is super dope because they gave it to us for free. Now, and I don't know what to expect. I think I mentioned this in another video. I don't know what to expect because I have not looked at any spoilers or anything on this. I do know there's like 12 trophies that come with this. So I'm going to try to get all the trophies for this. Probably won't happen in this one video. So we'll come back and play. I have, man, get out of the way, cords. I got to, for one, I got to finish packing my room up because I'm moving soon. And uh, I have uh, lunch plans, I can call it. Brunch lunch plans. And like, an hour and 30 minutes so we'll probably get like a 30 minutes to an hour of this video in before i get up and have to leave so let's get into this the following content is meant to be experienced after the completion of god of war rack and rotting will contain spoilers do you wish to proceed yeah because i already beat the game recommended starting combat difficulty plus 10 increase in rewards 20. um i played on a lowest difficulty starting only because like there was no trophy tied to the highest difficulty, but we're gonna, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna put a resolve just just so we can uh, get ten percent more rewards. Um, one thing I did want to mention when I I wanted to talk about yesterday when I was talking about freaking Liza P and all that stuff. One of the things that got kind of annoying that people were talking about too was the fact that after the Archbishop, every boss was a two stage boss. I have no problem with bosses being two-stage bosses. I mean, although it is kind of annoying, but I have no problem with they really being two-stage bosses. I have a problem with the concept of how they do two-stage bosses sometimes. First of all, I don't think that was the armor I had on. You are certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, That's no, definitely not the armor that I had on from the, I don't, I don't think so. It could Tell be, but I don't remember. Why exactly are we doing this? But, um, oh, excuse me. Some games oh, that's comforting. Some games do a concept when when they do uh I can't control anything. When they do um two stage bosses in which like Liza P other than one boss, which I'm gonna get to wouldn't always get me in the dark about this place. When it's a second stage repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. Yeah, so in Liza P, when the second stage happened, the boss got full health. And I, I just I just don't agree with that. If I'm fighting you a certain way, like this is an anime, I'm fighting you a certain way, right? And I get you down sure. and take your whole health bar away. Sad. Then all of a sudden you're like, oh, you know what? Nah, that that wasn't my full strength. I'm gonna go ahead and go full strength now, and it also makes me recover all of my HP, and makes me stronger and more defense and stuff. It's like, all right, bro, like now we're just doing too much. I am in complete agreement of how you fought Champion Victor. That is how I think two stage bosses should go. You know, Champion Victor, you got him down to half his health bar, and he was like, all right, cool, bro. Second stage time. Now I'm stronger. Now I'm faster. My HP is only half, but that's how we go it. That is how I think two-stage bosses should be for it. I understand some people's like, oh, I love the challenge. I want to, I'm, I'm all about them healing the boss all the way back up and give me a second stage. It's like, yeah, that's cool and all, but it just, it just don't sit right with me. Back to basics then. Oh, it downgraded my, it downgraded all of my stuff. But it just don't sit right with me. Is what it is. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of the freaking well, that two stage bosses like that have two separate health bars, basically. I can't remember how to play this game. So before I started, excuse me, I actually went and um, like ran around my weapons. I didn't know it was gonna reset all of my stuff. Do I even still got my spear? Yeah, I still got my spear, but I, I didn't know it was gonna reset all of my stuff. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, oh, it's my little rant about that. I still love the, t I still like two stage bosses because it's pretty dope. It's pretty unique or whatever. I don't want to say unique, but because Liza Peach had to try to play it out, but it, it's it's still a pretty good concept because like, oh snap, we got some more to the fight. But 
Uh, I just don't like the way they did it. Locked. Because some of the, some of the bosses is already like ridiculously hard. It's like now you give him a second stage and you give him a full health bar. So now not on, and then it's, it's not like I'm gonna start. I don't think there's any game I played. There might have been like one game I played in which a boss has a two stage fight and you start on their second stage even if you if when you lose instead of starting back to their first stage because that's what really kills it and it's like bruh. And when I say kills it, not like kills it, like, oh my gosh, like, I hate this and I don't want to do it no more. Well, that does happen sometimes too, but it really kills it in the sense of, it's like, bro, like, this is what's making the fight really hard. Like, like I got 10 heals total. This dude has a crazy health bar. I beat him, knock his health bar down to freaking zero. He recovers his entire health bar for the second stage, and I only got, like, five heals left. And it's like, then they, then they obviously they get into, like, where you get... Okay, that's not how you dodge. You don't dodge with circle. Oh, you dodge with X. Gotta, I, gotta to, I gotta remember how to play this. Not the sort of foes I expected to encounter here. Curious. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. Drastically increase the power of rising wind. Drastically increase the power of hover and pull. Wind. I don't think I use that much. Let's show this one. I think it's just giving me, giving me my spells back. Yeah, I don't use that one too much. So let's do this one. Oh, I got a view in the menu. It won't let me do anything else but view it. Weapon glyphs and power weapons and perks. Let's provide unique effects. Stats, this increase Kratos attributes for this attempt. Each check has a floating symbol that indicates type of reward inside. Uh, press L3 to view the symbols overview. Uh, perks, unique combat and gameplay capabilities, stats, weapons, runic. Mystic, refill, fleeting echoes, wow, that's a lot. At least you're not going in completely hobbled. Yeah, we'll see what we get from this and how this goes. This one. I don't remember what these are. I don't think I've ever used that before. Are these new spells? These have to be new spells because I don't think I've ever seen either one of those before. What's over here? Cause that's obviously the start of a stage. That's the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. What's this? Okay, this is locked, so you definitely can't go this way. Freya would have aided us in this. Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really? I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've got a bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do okay, not I can't go she there. understands what she asks of me. Kratos, uh... I think Kratos and uh, Freya are starting to get intimate. And maybe Kratos is a little scared of that. What the fuck is this? 
Okay, there's a lot of chests around here and there's a lot of doors that's not open and there's something that is open. I think these are other realms or something. I'm just searching around the area because obviously I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing yet. Alright, let's go to that door and figure out what's going on in there. Oh, wait, how do I break those again? Ah, my shield. How, how do you break your bypass again? I don't remember how to do this. Wait a minute. I think I, I think I, I think I remember. I think I remember. Chains, chains, chains. Your chains have. Eh? I don't remember how to play this. Okay. I can't block. So that's obviously not good. Oh. We're back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter. That would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. <laughs> With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir. I think you've said enough. Aye. Right then. Yeah, the Valkyries all have the same wings, those same hawk like uh, spiritual wings. Well, hawk like wings. Oh, yeah. Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think then. Oh, this is probably going to be some good story pack stuff in here. First of all, I need to remember how to get Bifrost off. Oh, got our first trophy. Imitation accepted. Discover the secret of Valhalla. First, Valhalla requires you to perform the ritual of selection. First of all, I can get my shield back. Give me my shield back. I don't remember which shield I use the most. I don't think it was this. I don't. I don't know. I don't even know if it was the stone wall shield. I don't remember what shield I use. Definitely wasn't that. Don't think it was the onslaught either. I'm pretty sure it was the parry shield. I'm pretty sure this was the shield I, I used.
What's the difference between these two? All right, let's use this shield. And choose a spot. I don't remember. What's, I don't remember any of this, bro. Like I, I just. Uh, this is what this is my biggest gripe when it comes to DLCs is that the DLCs are so far off from when the game were released that you usually forget everything you've done. And I guess it really depends on some of the games. Like if the games have like a new game plus that brings more to it and lets you keep leveling up and this is in this, then sometimes you'll play it. Like stuff like Elden Ring and stuff like people are still playing Elden Ring and it's about to be two years now since the game been released. So they're still very familiar with it. I haven't played it in like a year and some change or probably like probably some change like, like a year or whatever but i don't remember anything about this i don't remember what i did uh, to consume a chunk of the spartan rage and charge down enemies with the current weapon to... i think i think it was raft but i don't remember good now let my sister speak to you of valhalla's rules and if... yeah, 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 yeah 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 we need to go to codex right quick because i need to remember how to get how to fight people with bifrost Yeah, but how do I fight it? Um, are you going to tell me how to fight Bifrost? Because I, I know there's a, there's a certain way that you had to fight Bifrost. There's a certain, there's something you had to do. If I remember right, like you had to you had to fight with a certain weapon or something like that. I, I can't remember. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but I'm probably get my butt beat a bunch before that. Who I need to talk to? Okay. What do you know of this place? I like her the helmet. The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them. How you demonstrate my, mastery. My drink. <sighs> we can guide you down a path. Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've got a goal, and we will observe your effects. Okay, so we got a view goes. Let me speak to the chick too. Give me a second. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course. But varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. What the ham sandwich is talking about? Objectives. Choose each of the light attack grips for the Leviathan. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm sure I have to complete all of these probably for a uh, permanent upgrade master. I'm sure I have to complete all of these for some type of freaking trophy or something. Air, Gunner, with me. I like Gunner's freaking uh, Gunner's helmet the most. Are they gonna do that every time, or is this door just gonna stay open? Now you can enter Valhalla by this gate without suffering the penalty of breaching. Oh, wait a minute. So give me all my stuff back. Any cursed feeling this time? No. Thank you, shield maidens. But what, what does that mean, though? What does that mean, Kobe Bryant? Nah. Go ahead and stay back, brother. New attempt, new choices to make. 
Well, I think I did like that one a lot. Frozen Spike and Frozen Lance. I do all types of stuff, I guess. What is the odds between you and Sigmund? Did you anger her? Mm. I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. Nope, don't like that one. This one I like. As soon as I remember how to do this backfrost thing. I'll be fine. But we'll, we're about to go to the area that we lost at the first time. See if we can overcome that. And then I'm probably going to so, no end the video. Of at all. Mm -hmm. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than a general who won Ragnarok? And when it trying to save lives, with you on board, trying to hear all the memories you're saying, so could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life. That title, that throne. Aye. Oh, I picked my controller up for a second. Seen somebody else over there. Where you at? Is that it? Cool. I'm heal myself. Now I don't know if this stuff saves either. Like, if I leave, it's just gonna save the progress and whatnot. Give me a second, y'all. Time to beast. That was the last one that was just there. We're not worried about that. Oof, I don't really like that at all. I'm not a huge fan of Tame the Beast, but. I suppose this is about how you remember your name, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. 
it should succeed on her merits. How is that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, mm. respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? Hmm. Seems there's a way at hand to bargain with Valhalla directly. Chris purchase at the tablet of Endorva Endeavor will be lost at the end of an attempt. Acquire a runic attack glyphs can be upgraded for this attempt. Press square to retain your progress in Valhalla and exit to the main menu. Okay, so that's how you do it. Suspend the game. Alright, so we will definitely be suspending the game after we get to our noted time. Which is not yet. Because I'm enjoying myself a little bit. When I say a little bit, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. So, let's get to this gate. I think this is the only gate that's open. Let's get to this gate. There's a heal around here somewhere. Yep. Perks. Combo finishers have a high luck chance to increase cradle strength and stagger resistance. I like that. Melee attacks have a luck chance to critically strike, creating this. Oh, gotta get that. Criticals. I'm all about criticals and all about freaking. Explosions too. Oh. 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 Delicious. And this must be how you remember Sparkle Fight. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. And will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title. Okay. Regardless okay. of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in violence. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. Okay, so I can, be there I can stop right here if I wanted to. I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man. Here. But you put your past behind you. Excuse you me. Don't see it. <laughs> Nothing's I up here. Everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that <laughs> man anymore. Do, 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 do. All right, let's uh take care of whoever's here. What do we got? Oh, great. I'm glad I had the right thing on. Wow. 
Gotta, I gotta really remember how to play this game. Where's my health? Where's my health thing at, game? There it is. I don't like using the X, so let's go back to our, to this or our or our uh, wish them call it. Oh wow, that was a pity reward. Or our, our freaking spear. I really I really like using the spear, so that's why I usually use most of the time. Anyways, oh we back to the beginning. Touch the ascending sands. Which one? Any one of these? Okay, not this one. I don't know if that's even ascending sands. I, I'm, there, I'm assuming. That is the path we seek, a way up and forward, Valhalla's inner reaches. Oh, probably that one right there, obviously. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without a trace or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well-being. Combat can be clarifying. What is this? What is this? You recognize your old seat, don't you? <laughs> Kratos. I have not forgotten the debt I owe you. Do you really think you understand the seats? This still feels reckless. Here they are now. That's odd. We're back outside, but we didn't, you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. It's not at all. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. <laughs> Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules, and if you don't play by them, Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. Oh, that's going to me all the way back. Okay. Oh. View the specific information on the codex and the lessons person. I was literally about to do that anyways. Because I was about to see uh, our lessons. Not, not even our lessons. Our challenges. Yeah, goals. These. So we got one completed. Start another attempt when ready. Alright, so that's the next goal. The invitation was done. Now we got stat mastery. Full degree all stats. Times two. Rage mastery. Completed with the wrath. I didn't even do the rage. I think I just have to build up the rage bar. Yeah, I think I'd have to build up the rage bar. And the same thing with the shields. Defeat and and an, defeat and encounter in a lower realm with a, a different shield. All right, so we'll do that too. And that's gonna get us some 100 mastery, some armor, and some shields. Okay, I didn't pay attention to the outside to see what the armors and stuff was, but we'll. I guess we'll go ahead and change our shield out. And we'll change our rage out since we don't use we didn't use either, either one of them, and I I, I kind of rarely use them anyways. Oh, now I can put armor on. Discover and unlock various armors and weapons attachments to customize Kratos' appearance. This this is cosmetic only and does not affect in the gameplay. Okay, what what do I have then? So what does this even matter then? Is this my all my stuff that I had at first? Oh, these are all in Valhalla. And these can all be. So basically, the, the armor doesn't matter at all. And doing this Valhalla stuff, it's just, it's just like they said, it's all cosmetic. So, so what's the use of even, oh, because the appearance of the, of the levels. All right, let's put something on just for cosmetic reasons. Oh, what? Why don't I put it on? Oh, hold to apply appearance. Oh, got a trophy. Style points. Equip their cosmetic armor. Let's change our waist too, because 
Oh, wrist first. Well, obviously, these match more, so we're going to go with that anyways. We'll do something, we'll do something different. We'll do something different. I mean, that's, that's the only appearance we have. It's crazy that these do nothing. So all cosmetic. We're gonna change all our cosmetic. We're gonna change all of our freaking. Uh, uh, we're gonna change our shield and our rage, and then we're gonna end the video there. This first video, and we'll definitely come back to the video. So don't you even worry about that for sure. I just gotta jump between this and um, uh, what's the other game we plan? This and freaking um, dang, why I can't remember the name of the game? Oh, Hogwarts. I don't even care about that. All right, cool. Got some cosmetic armor on. What's this? I see. Do these tasks. Return here for rewards. Fair enough. Okay. Visit the labor mar uh, marker to accept new laborers and redeem completed ones for rewards. The marker offers tasks that are repeatable and s and cycle at random. So make sure you visit often. Q. Now where's the... Okay. What's this? Upgrades on lock here are permanent. So we do health and stat. What am I? Okay, I'm using my mastery seals to upgrade them. I need 10. I need 15 stats. You need 10. Okay. All right. I don't know why, but I always love luck. So just because. How many do I even have? Does, 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 does it tell me how many? I, okay, I got 90 left. Let's definitely do something to help. Cause that's that's definitely gonna be needed all right we'll come back for a lot more afterwards all right let's change our rage and change our shield change our rage to valor so we can unlock this uh we'll change our shield to the other counter shield actually we'll do onslaught cool so now we've done both of those I, w I think it would automatically just save itself here so I don't have to go to as a matter of fact let's just let's go in and we'll go to the first little uh, return stone thing and then we'll stop there Chaos and Chaos Lama. Explode sometimes. I forgot, I forgot I had that. Oh, yep, that's my. Oh, that's not the one. I thought it was my my attack. I love doing. We'll put it on for now, though. So that's the one that's unlocked now. 
Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. All right, there's a safe spot right there. The distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. Oh, snap. And those That's what I'm talking about. Are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld from my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, where the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? All right. That's going to be it. Can we turn? That's going to be it for today's video. We will come back and we'll definitely make some more videos. Obviously, over here is already the 30th in uh, Japan. So, but tomorrow being the 31st and stuff, I probably won't make any videos. I probably I'll make, make a couple of videos a little bit later to put up. But I won't be making any videos tomorrow because I'll be out and about and going into the first to enjoy my little New Year's, you know. So, look forward to that. And hopefully, y'all look forward to that one, two, three, one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all get that reference. Hopefully, a bunch of y'all do. But anyways, for y'all on, on YouTube, you know the deal. If they can get your boy with a like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, maybe a little comment. Recommend to your friends. Possibly turn that notification bell on so you can help your boy come up and we can start doing something with this YouTube thing. You know what I'm saying? But no matter what, I appreciate y'all taking the views and uh, looking into my videos. We all here, man. Stay blessed out there.